Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to start by lying down on our mats or on the floor. Palms of the hands facing upwards, arms next to our body. Feet fall out a little bit to the sides. And then we just start breathing. Breathing as naturally as it comes. So now we're not going to force any specific type of breath. And just start to kind of come into your body, noticing if there's anything that you can, you need to move or adjust in order to relax a little bit more. And now we're just going to stay with the breath, breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Bianca. Welcome, Daisya. Welcome, Panka. So we're going to start by lying down. Everybody's laying down, facing up. And just breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Try to notice if there's any tension around your jaw. If there is, gently open your mouth. Let your tongue fall to the back of your throat. And very, very gently. Keep on breathing, keep on noticing. If there's any tension around the neck, shoulders, and if there's any tension around the body, try to take your attention. Try to take your attention there. Oh, and breathe in and breathe out to that part of the body. You can breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth or breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose as well. And very gently, we're going to try to make our breaths a little bit deeper, trying to take the uh, air or oxygen to the lower part of the belly. And very, very gently, we're going to try to scan our body, starting at the top of our head, and very gently taking our attention all the way down to our feet. Breathing in and breathing out. Ah, if you need to burp, fart, sigh, whatever kind of noises come up, allow yourself to do it. And very, very gently, we're going to start breathing in a little bit deeper and preparing ourselves. to come back gently and slowly into the body. Oh. We're gonna take three deep breaths more, breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose, oh. and breathing out through the mouth. One last one, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. And very gently, we're going to just take one last glimpse of where our body's at so we can compare that. So we can compare how we're feeling at the end of the class. And very gently, you're going to start moving your toes and your fingers very softly. You're going to start rotating your ankles and your wrists inside out and outside in. Very softly, you're going to start moving your head from side to side. You're going to take one deep breath and you're going to hug your legs towards your chest. Lying down, you like you hold your legs towards your chest and you start massaging your spine from side to side. And then we're going to start rolling up back and forth until we're able to sit up straight. Oh, nice. That's a nice massage. Good. So we're going to sit up straight. Try to notice 
the tension around your jaw. So if your jaw is a little bit tense, slightly open your mouth. And we're going to put our hands either on our knees or on our lap, wherever it feels more comfortable. So before we start, hello, everybody. My name is Marcella. I've been teaching yoga about 12 years, so I kind of know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit of some guidelines. So everything I suggest is an invitation. So don't feel that you have to do everything. The most important thing is that you listen to your body. So if something feels weird or violent, don't do it. Also, there's some postures or asanas that might be painful. And there's a pain that comes from not like from something being new. Explore that pain. But if there's a pain that comes from something being really tense and point like poignant, then don't don't go into it. I will offer variations of different exercises. And if there's something you cannot do, just turn on your camera or just write me a message on the chat and I'll give you another option. The most important thing is to be connected to your body. This is just the first session. So it's not about putting your legs behind your, your head. It's not the point. The point is to be where we are at, whatever, wherever that might be, and take it from there. So we're going to do yoga and play. So we're going to do asanas and some playful exercises and asanas in a playful way. And just, I mean, this is supposed to last an hour. So we have an hour. So... We're going to start with pranayama, which is breathing exercises. Then we'll do a little bit of stretching and then we'll go into fun. If you have people around your house that you want to invite, partners, kids, whatever, if you ask them to join, because if there is people with partners or with people around them, we'll do some partner exercises that are really fun. Okay, having said that, we're ready to start. So a pranayamas are breathing exercises. And the first one we're going to do is the B exercise. So what I want you to do is to put your tongue like a straw. If you cannot do that, you put your mouth like that. Yeah. So those are the options. You can either put your tongue like a straw and suck in air or you put your mouth like this. So what we want to do now is we're going to suck in the most air we can. And when we cannot talk in any more air, we just let go, yeah? So we're going to do that five times. Each, do it as, lo as, like, as long as your ha uh, capacities for it. So try to really inhale as much as you can. And when you can't anymore, you let go. Breathing in and breathing out. And do as much noises as you as you need. More. Oh. And one last one, suck in as much air as you can and then let go completely. Try to be like constantly checking in on how you're feeling. After the breathing exercises, you might get a little bit dizzy, and that happens if you hyper if you oxygenate too much. Uh, that's normal. If you feel like a little bit dizzy, you can lie down and just uh, put your legs up high. So now we're gonna do another pranayama. We're gonna do two or three more. This one is called anuloma viloma, and this one is the purpose is to kind of balance the right and the left energy of the body. So the right part of the body is associated with like masculine energy, the sun being active and thoughts, and the left side of the body is associated with the moon, emotions, dreams, and the night. So this one's quite easy. You're gonna right, uh, grab your right hand like this. These two fingers, the small one and the ring finger, then I'll, yeah. Excuse me, Hundi. Thank you. Okay, good. So these two, Eileen. The small finger and ring finger, then I'll. And with the small finger and the ring finger, you're going to cover your left nostril. No, these two together, Eileen. Yeah, exactly. And with your right finger, you're going to cover your left, uh, right nostril. 
So the exercise is, we're gonna inhale through the left, cover it, and exhale through the right. Now we're gonna inhale through the right, and exhale through the left. Breathing in through the left. Cover it and exhale through the right. Try to relax your jaw, your face. Breathing in through the right. Breathing out through the left. Breathing in through the right. Breathing out through the left. Breathing in through the right. Try for your chin to be parallel to your chest. Relax the shoulders. Breathing out through the left. And now you're going to do five more rounds on your own. So you can kind of go into your capacity. So breathe in through the left. Hold. Breathe out through the right. Breathe out through the breathe in through the right. Hold and breathe out to the left. You're going to do that five times more. And when you're done, you're going to put your hands on your knees. And we'll take it from there. And since Eileen is the only person I can see, she will be my reference for when you're done. Try to relax the forehead, the jaw. Very gently, we're going to move our necks. Try to notice if you can hear the diff different sounds of your neck clicking and clacking. Ah, now we're going to do two pranayamas more and we'll come up. Hello, Bianca, nice to see you. So now we're going to do a pranayama, which is quite fun. And I think it's easier if you kind of come up on your knees, yeah, so this in this position. And this exercise, I'm going to, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to model it just for you to see. So the idea is you're going to breathe in. This is your belly. You're going to breathe in. Breathe out completely. And when you don't have any more air, you're going to start to pump your butt belly, yeah? So breathing in, breathing out. When we start pumping. At the beginning, you might feel like all of you are shaking and your body's not shaking. That's normal. Just give it a try. We're going to do that five times. Oh, no, eight. So breathing in. We're going to, let's start together. Bianca, you need any help? Let's start. So hands next to the body. And if you feel that you cannot move the belly, sometimes it helps to put your hand here just as a reference to kind of try to reach it with, with, with your belly, but you don't have to. So let's start together. We're going to do five together and then you're going to do five alone. So standing up straight, arms next to the body or hands close to your belly, breathing in. Breathing out. And when you have no oxygen to your left, you start, you start popping until you run out of oxygen and you start again. Yeah, we're going to do that five times. Breathing in. Try to relax the shoulders. Let it all out. And start. Pump, pump, pump it out. Pump, pump, pump it out. We're going to do that five times. Yeah. And try to breathe in and breathe out either through the nose or the mouth. It doesn't matter. But when you're pumping out, no oxygen. That's it, Bianca. Pump, pump, pump it out. And you might feel exhausted and nauseous. That's normal. Let's do five, uh, four, four more. Do them, do them at your own space and time. 
and try to relax the forehead and the jaw and the face. Put all of your energy in the pump, pump, pump it out, pump, pump, pump it out. So you want to exhale completely and then you start pumping, I mean. So you're not pumping while exhaling. Yeah, so you exhale completely and then you start pumping. Ah. <sighs> And when you're done, you're going to come into child's pose. So you're going to bring your butt towards your heels like this. And you can either stretch your arms in front or put your arms behind you. And we're going to rest our head towards the ground or to one side, whatever feels more comfortable. And we're going to stay here for 10 long breaths. Try to notice if there's any tension around your lower back. Especially if you're sitting all day in front of a computer, that area might get tense. So we're going to start breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose or mouth, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Ah. Let's do three deep breaths more. Good, and now very gently, we're gonna take our head towards our chest and very slowly start walking our hands back towards our body. And then we're going to go into like a four leg position. So we want hands super open, even if you're not using them, hands super open. So you want to put your hands below your elbow, shoulders, hands open, and you want your knees, eh, sorry, your hip bones to be on top of your knees. So you don't want to be leaning backwards or forwards. You want to be like a table, as flat as possible. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is just wake up the spine a little bit. So we're going to breathe in and try to roll our all the way in. So kind of curl our head to look at our belly button, breathing in. And when we breathe out, we open up and we do the opposite position. So breathing in, we curl in. Slowly moving the spine from the base of the spine all the way to the uh, top of the head. Let's do three more, breathing in, super slow and consciously. <sighs> breathing out. Let's do one more, breathing in. Good. And from there, we're going to put our feet into the ground and start very slowly pushing ourselves up into a downward facing dog. And very, very gently, our head is hanging here, so there's no tension in the head. And very gently, we're gonna start walking our hands, our feet towards our hands, yeah? And here you have two options. If you can put your hands on the ground without bending your knees, then we do so, the, and the head is hanging. If not, you're gonna hold on. You're gonna hold on to your arms, and you're gonna kind of fold yourself towards your legs, and we're gonna stay here for five deep breaths, breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Trying to really kind of relax the spine, no tension on the neck. Relaxing completely the neck. If you cannot stretch your legs, that's absolutely fine. Breathing in through the nose, trying to feel how the legs are stretching in the back. Try not to be too violent. So if your legs are a bit tight, just stay with that and start to breathe in into that tightness instead of forcing it out. Very gently and now very softly because you will get dizzy if you do it too quick. You're going to bring your head towards your chest and we're going to start rolling our spine very slowly until we're standing up straight. Breathing in as we come up, arms are dead like dead logs. Head is dead like a dead log and come up spine, a vertebra by vertebrae. Breathing, oh yeah, nice. Good. 
So if at some point somebody gets lost or you want me to repeat something, uh, just let me know. Good. So now we're going to start with um, feet hip width apart. Hips, feet hip width apart. So how do you measure that? You're going to put your arch, uh, your ankle against your arch of the other foot, and then you open up your feet. And this is the side of your, your hips. It's not about how fat your hips are. It's about the bone structure. And here we're going to open up the feet like a little weird frog. So when we're doing yoga, try to really open up the feet and hands when you need the hands. So you can kind of get complete stability. Yeah. Good. So we're here. We're standing up straight, hips, uh, feet hip width apart, uh, hips, feet hip width apart. Oh, I, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, good. So now we're going to take one deep breath and we're going to do a bit of stretching and then we'll get into the fun part. So we're going to very gently take our hands towards our chest, intermingle our finger, fingers, breathing in. I'm going to go sideways, but you can stay down. Breathing in and breathing out. We push all the way forward, trying not to bring the shoulders towards our neck. So relaxing the shoulders. Breathing in, we come back. And breathing out, we go a bit higher. Breathing in, we come back. And breathing out, now we go all the way up to the ceiling. Trying to relax the shoulders so the shoulders should not be touching the ears. Now, try to notice how you're standing. So some, I just noticed that I'm standing kind of falling forward. So if you are kind of leaning forward, try to bring your back, body back to the center. And from there, we're going to take one deep breath and stretch all the way to the right. Ah, no, no, no. Breathing in, we come back. And stretching all the way back to the left. Oh my gosh. I have not stretched enough lately. Breathing in, we come back. And now, just look at me for one second. Now, you're going to go. Try to fix your eye gaze or your gaze in a point in front of you. So kind of the, the height of your eyes. Once you have that point, you're going to try to come into the tips of your feet. And from there, you're going to see if you can untangle your hands. You don't have to be very high. The important thing is that you can kind of keep that, the balance in that position. So if you're very high, it's going to be hard. So once you've found an appropriate height, you're going to very gently breathe. Take one deep breath. And try to see if you can bring your arms a little bit to the back and your head a little bit to the seat. If that feels comfortable, then you can try to go a little bit deeper without falling. <laughs> and if that feels too crazy or unstable, then you can just stay here. Very gently, we start coming back, relaxing the arms and shaking it out. So now we're gonna do a little bit of activation of, the, of, the, of our energy. So this one is quite easy. What you're gonna do is go on the tips of your feet and let yourself fall on the balls of your feet. You're gonna do that 10 times. Come up as high as possible and then completely let go. Oh. Breathing in and breathing out. So I have a guest here, but she doesn't wanna be on camera. So I'm gonna switch my camera and you can take this one. Okay, good. Let's do that two more times. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing up and breathing in, good. Now we're going to start with a little, let's do one more to relax the neck and then we'll start with the, with the games. So this one, you're gonna interweave your fingers like this and you're going to stand straight, hip width apart and you're gonna put your hands in the back of your head. Yeah, here. And what you want to do is you wanna bring your chin into your chest like this, but your chest wants to come up. Uh, sorry, but your head wants to come up. So you have two forces going opposite directions. And here we're going to breathe for five deep breaths. So what you want to do is you push your chin into your chest, but your head wants to come up. 
And what this is doing, it's creating a lot of space in your cervix, cervix, no, cer uh, cervical, I forgot the name. Uh, and this is really good for when you have a headache. So just gently push your head into your chest, your chin into your chest, and the head wants to come up. Try to notice if your legs are, are, are tight, if they are, or tense, just kind of gently bounce on your knees, just flex your knees. And we're gonna do two deep breaths more here, two more deep breaths here, breathing in through the nose. Maybe pushing a little bit tighter and coming up a bit tighter to create some more space. And very gently, we start to come up, 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 up. Very, very gently. Take one deep breath and release the neck. Good. Now, if you start yawning, that's amazing. That means we're relaxing. So yawn as much as you need to and do as much size as you need to. Yeah. So now it's where the games begin. So guys without the cameras, if you have difficulties, uh, just come in and let us know uh, if we can help. It's just one exercise that it might be a bit tricky. I'll tell you the trick, but let's just do it. So now, you good, Eileen? I'm letting people in, Eileen, so don't worry. So stretch your hands in front of you. All right, good. And then you're going to change the position of your hands. We you want your fingers looking at each other. Yeah? And then your right hand is going to come on top of your left hand and you're going to intermingle your fingers. Good. You can wear a face mask. That's absolutely fine, Roxanne. And then you're going to bring your fingers in. Wait, yeah. And now it's the tricky part. So now you want to put the, the back part of your index finger against your nose and untangle it. We'll do it again. You got it? Yeah. Good. So once again, stretch your hands in front of you. Switch the direction of the hands. Right hand on top of left hand. Intermingle your fingers. Now you're going to bring your hands inside. And this is the tricky part. So the tips of your nails of the index finger should be against your nose. Then you should be able to untangle them without making a mess. Okay, Eileen, Roxanne, well, I'll, I'll tell you the trick. Let's do it once again and I'll tell you the trick. So let it go. It's not about getting it right. It's about just having fun with not knowing, but it's very, very easy once you know the trick. Okay, cool. So last time, hands in front, switch direction of hands. Right hand on top of left hand. Intermingle your fingers. Bring your hands in. And the trick is, before you try now, completely switch the direction of your fingers. So if, they're, if you have them like this, go all the way down, all the way back. That's it. That's it, Roxanne. And now you're going to put them against your... I think you got it, Roxanne. No, 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 Roxanne. So you have them like this. You want to go all the way opposite. You got it, Eileen. Cool. Good, Eileen. Roxanne, last one, last time. Hands in front of you. Switch. Right hand on top of left hand. Bring your fingers in. Interweave your fingers. And Eileen, watch carefully. These fingers are going to go all the way. No, yeah, almost once more. Okay, no, no worries, Roxanne. We, we, we'll have a private session later because I want to do other stuff. Okay, good. So now we're going to do a very simple exercise about it's, it's, it's a balance exercise, but you're going to be really astounded by how not easy it is. It, the instructions are very simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand straight Breathing in through the nose. We're going to take our hands towards our chest and we're going to look at the fixed point in front of us, yes? And there we, chin parallel to the ground. 
try to notice if there's any tension on the body. If, you're if your legs are tight, very gently kind of bend your knees a little bit. If there's tension around the jaw, slightly open your mouth. If there's tension around your forehead, just relax it. And what you want to do now is look at a fixed point at the side at the height of your of your eyes, or without moving your head, you could place it the floor. I think it's easier at an eye level, but you can try. And what I want you to do there is to start breathing, and very gently, you're going to bring the right foot off the floor. It doesn't have to be high. The important thing is that it's not touching. If you bring it too high, it's not going to work. So just fix your gaze in front of you, relax the shoulders. Relax the mouth and just start breathing there and finding balance. As really, it just if, if it the important thing is that the right foot is not touching and try to notice that you're not hipping out so that your left hip is not kind of to the side. You want your left hip to be kind of a stable pillar. If you need to find a little bit of balance, you can also kind of um, tighten your belly a little bit. But the important thing here is really try to notice that there's no tension. Once. Bianca, you need anything? I don't, no entiendo, Bianca. Yeah, so I, Bianca, my sister, is telling me that maybe I did not get the instruction properly. So the idea is that your right foot is elevated from the ground, that you're not touching the ground with your right foot. So Roxanne, are you with us? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna bring our hands towards our chest. So this is a balance exercise, Roxanne. So we're gonna take our time here, finding balance. If you feel, oh my gosh, this is so boring, blah, 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 I couldn't find balance. Now you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna keep it with your eyes closed for at least five breaths. And we're gonna not going to rush it. So take your time breathing and relaxing the jaw and the face. And if you're able to keep it with your eyes closed for five breaths, then you can do it for two or three more. And don't push it. Breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Bianca, the foot doesn't have to be so high. Pon them abajo. Bianca, try to relax the jaw. If you feel that you that it's too hard, then just come up. Come back, open your eyes, and find stability in the find stability with your eyes open, because it's not about closing your eyes; it's about finding stability. And we're at different levels, and it's absolutely fine. So don't pressure yourself to try to get it with your eyes closed if you're stumbling too much. Relax the jaw, the face, and just kind of feel into that, into your core. Good, Eileen. Very good, Bianquita. Good. Very gently, we're going to start to open our eyes. If, and we're going to very gently bring our right foot back and relax a little bit. And now we're going to do the same with the left part of our, with our left leg. And some parts of, sometimes the left side's really tight and the right one, and the other one's really flexible. Or sometimes one is stable. So it's, it's fine if it's different. Yeah. So the same instruction as before. Breathe in, open up, open up your feet like a weird frog. Try to make sure there's no tension on the legs. Bring your hands into the chest. Look at a fixed point in front of you. And start breathing there. Relax the jaw. And when you feel ready, you can very gently bring your left foot off, off the ground. Breathing in and breathing out through your nose. And take as long as you need to really find stability and center there. And once and if you feel stable, then you can try closing your eyes. If not, stay there. It's about finding center. It's not about closing the eyes. Relax the jaw, the face. For your left leg, right leg to be kind of straight. Relax the, the forehead. If there's tension on the forehead, let it go. 
because we're not getting any more like grounded in the floor by tensing the forehead. Don't tense anything that's not necessary. Breathing in deeply. Ah, breathing out. Breathing in deeply. And breathing out. Very gently, we're going to start bringing our left foot to the ground, relaxing the shoulders. And now we're going to go to the wall. Unless you have a partner at home, I mean, if you have somebody to play with, then I will show you an instruction. If not, you go to the, to the wall. And I'm going to show you what to do. And I have a part, I'm going to model with you just in case people have a partner. Is it okay? Okay, cool. So this is my wall. Let me see if you can see, yeah. So the idea is, this is the wall, yeah? So the idea is you're going to come close to the wall. You're going to bend your head, so your face towards your knees. And here, you just want to let the, the, your weight, let's see. So you're bending your le head towards your knees, and then you're just letting the wall or the door have your weight, yeah? And you're going to give in. I mean, it's a wall or a door so it's not going to fall and here what i want you to do is to completely relax the neck and stay here for 10 deep breaths you're going to feel a long stretch here so be gentle if your if your legs are a bit bent that's fine try not to stretch them forcefully just breathe here <sighs> for 10 breaths and when you come out 10 long breaths you're all going to have your own time to do it so don't rush it. Really just feel the stretch in the breath. And when you come out very softly, you separate yourself from the wall. You bring your chin into your chest and you come all the way up really softly. So let's do it. 10 breaths. If you have any doubts, let me know. And if you have a partner or kids around you, Alessia, lo puedes hacer con los niños. Alessia, you can do it with your kids. What you're going to do, I think you remember, Alessia, is this person... Your partner is going to come in front of you. They're going to fold forward. Separate your feet a little bit. Fold forward as much as you can. And when this person folds forward as much as they can, then they're going to pass you with their arms. And you're going to hold on to them and they're going to hold on to you really tight. And what you want to do is just let yourself fold forward. Good. And breathe. And no tension on the neck. So really give your, your weight into that wall. Relax the neck and try to see if you can stretch your legs a bit. Michelle, good. Hold me tight. I have you. I'm strong. Breathing in. And when you come out, come out really slowly. Breathe. Hold. You okay, Michelle? Good. Okay. Good. So if you're doing it with somebody, you can do five breaths and five breaths and come out slowly. Yeah, do it. Good. Very gently, we're going to start coming up. Trying not to get dizzy. And now we're going to do two more balance exercises, kind of fun. And then we'll go to the ground for some intense shit. No, not true. It's not intense. It's very, it's all very much. Okay, so this one I'm going to give you different options. Yeah. The important thing of this exercise is balance and opening up the hip, not that you go as high as possible. So I'm going to show you different options. And this is important for you to know not screw up your knee. So the first option is you can put your feet, foot, sorry, against your calf. Second option, you can put your foot a bit higher on your calf. Third option, you put your foot on your thigh. thigh, not on your knee. So if it's not going high enough, then put it lower because you don't want to put your all that weight on your knee because it's not good for you. So wherever you feel comfortable, the important thing also is that the hip is open. So it's not worth it if you're up here, but your hip, your hip is super close. So it's better to be a bit lower, but with your hip open. Yeah. So take your time to find where you want to work in at what at what height. And once you found you've found your height, then we're going to bring our our hands to the chest. Find your height, 
find stability there. And if you feel like, oh my gosh, this is so boring, easy peasy, then you can breathe in from all the way up. Trying for your shoulders not to get close to your ears, but separating them. So arms stretched, but also your shoulders are not close to your ears. And if this also feels like, oh my gosh, this is so boring, easy peasy, then you can gently start coming all the way forward. You can either stay here, stretching your arms, or bring your hands towards the ground and face toward your knee. Try not to rush it. So whenever you're doing it, take time, yeah? So those are the options, either here, up here, down here, stretch looking forward, or hands towards the, the head. Floor, relax on the head. If you're looking at the floor, relax the head and take your time, we're not rushing. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you've decided where you want to stay, then stay there for five breaths, five deep breaths, breaths. You good? Okay, five breaths. No. Okay. That's it, Eileen, breathe. Good, Bianca, I think if you're ready, you can jump, at least start to look for the floor. No? Okay, no problem. Eileen, try to relax the neck. Breathing, you know? Okay, very gently. We're gonna start to come out. Shake a little bit. And when you're ready, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So, as I said before, sometimes there's a side that's more um, flexible or stronger. That's absolutely fine. So maybe one leg comes super high and the other one not, that's fine. Just find where you, the position in which you feel kind of stable, yeah? Relax the jaw, chin parallel to the ground, breathe in, try to bring the air to the lower part of your belly. And once you find your position, then stay there for five deep breaths. There's no rush. Good, Eileen, relax the neck. Bianca también, relax the neck. No tension on the neck. Very gently, we're going to start coming out into position, breathing in gently, bringing the head up softly so you don't get dizzy. Now we're going to take three deep breaths, breathing in, kind of collecting all of the air that you've got. Wow, letting it out. Breathing in, coming up. Wow. Letting it out. One last one, breathing in, coming up. Good. Let's shake a little bit if you want. Because now we're going to do one that's quite difficult, and then we're going to the ground. Okay, cool. So pay attention. Now you can see my feet, yeah? So you're going to put the right foot just on, uh, in front of the left foot. Yeah, and you're gonna bend your knees a little bit. And it's a very straightforward exercise, but the important thing here is that you breathe. So you're gonna look forward, and then you're gonna, with your right hand, you're gonna to touch your right foot. And you're gonna come up. With your left hand, you're gonna to touch your right foot. And you're gonna come up. Then with your right hand, you're going to touch your left foot in the back. And then you're going to come up. And then with your left hand, you're going to touch your left foot in the back. And then you're going to come up. And you're going to do that five times. And then switch. So take your time. So right foot in front. Try to bend the knees a little bit. Right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Yeah. Try to not rush it. Breathing in, breathing out. 
five times with the right foot. Try to relax the neck, the face. Muy bien, Eileen. Good, Bianca. Take your time. Ooh. And after you're done with five, just shake the right leg and start the same thing with the left. Shake the right leg and we do the same thing. With, but now the left foot in front, also five times. Try to breathe and to kind of connect with the breath. So don't go, don't go, uh, don't go down forcefully, but use the breath. Good. And when you're done, you can gently find your way to the floor and sit with your legs straight in front of you, back straight. If you want, shake it out before you go down to the floor. Oh. Well, before doing the thing of the legs, we're uh, stretching the legs, we're going to put our feet like this. And we're going to try to kind of bend, uh, kind of throw our legs to one side and then to the other one. This is really good to lubricate kind of all of the hip, hip and cervix area. And also it's good for the back lower. Just kind of lightly going one side. And then the other. And you might hear some clicks and clacks on your back. That's okay. Let's do two more. Try to let it fall completely. So the right for, for the knee to touch the, the ground. So yeah. And that's why you can use your hands in the back to support it. Yeah, good. Very gently, we're going to come back to the center. And now we're going to stretch our legs. And this. If you have small feet, you're lucky because if you have big feet, it's a freaking pain in the butt. So this is really important. You want your hands, we're not at the beach, yeah? But you want your hands to be at the point in which your femur meets your hip bone. So it's you're going to have the feeling that you're, um, like your arms might be a bit too short, yeah? And you're going to bring your chin in towards your chest here. So you're standing straight. And then what you're going to do very simply, is to breathe in, look up, and then you're gonna separate your right foot from the ground at the height of your left foot. You, but you're not gonna lean your foot on the left foot. It's just, that's the reference point, yeah? And it's gonna hurt and it's gonna tremble and it's horrible. And then you're gonna switch your feet. And you want your feet to be straight as possible, yeah? So if you have small feet, you're lucky because it's not so hard. And remember not to kind of chillax into the posture. You still wanna keep on straight, switch. Come up, come up, switch, switch. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Let's do two more in each foot. Breathing in, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose, breathing in through your nose, and relax. If it hurts, you can kind of massage your thighs a little bit like this, or little fists, not very tight. Oh, okay, good. Now, let me see how much time we have left. Uh, I hope it's an hour and 15 minutes because we're going to have, unless somebody needs the room, we'll be here a little bit longer. Um, yeah. So we're going to do 
two more. No, let's do this one. Okay, cool. So this is called the crow pose. If this is too difficult, I can give you an option, but I think we should all try. So the trick of this is to open up your hands and you're gonna put your open hands ridiculously open on the floor. And the way that this works is if you manage to put your knees into your armpits or as high as possible into your arms, and you come up as high as you can into your, into your heels. And this is gonna create space and distance. If you feel unsafe, you can put a, a pillow or a cushion in front of your face, just in case you feel you're gonna fall. Doesn't happen, but people feel more psychologically safe. So you're gonna come up here, open up with the hands, come as high as you can into your heels. And then very gently, you're gonna kind of let, let your uh, weight go forward and you're gonna separate one foot and then the other one. One foot and then the other one. If you come up really high, it's easier. That's it, Michelle, beautiful. And if it helps you, Michelle, you can look forward. Yeah, one foot and then the other one. So play around with that. One foot, and then the other one. And maybe for one microsecond, you can separate both feet. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a minute and a half to play there. If you have questions, Eileen, let me know. Or anybody. That's it, Bianca. So Bianca, if that's easy for you, you can put your feet together in the air. In the light. So once you're up, you put your feet together. You good, Eileen? It's a bit scary. That's it, Bianca. And now jump back, Bianca. Good. And you too, Eileen. Now we're gonna jump back. And now we're gonna lie down flat on the ground. Oh. But this is not the end. <laughs> Okay, cool. So now we're gonna do Superman turns a tan to tan. This is like the most hated posture of many yoga practitioners. Eileen, if we have to leave you, tell me, yeah? Okay. Okay, I'll just pause my video. You can sit down in this room for another 10 or 15 if you... Okay, cool. Yep. So uh, you're gonna stretch your arms in front of you, look forward, and the trick here, is that if you put your kind of thumbs together, you interweave your, your thumbs, you're gonna get more space in your in your chest, like this, all right? That's it, good. And what you wanna do now, put your feet together, hands together, activated. We're gonna take one deep breath, and then we're gonna go all the way up. The only thing that you want to be touching the floor is your belly button and release. We're gonna do that five times more, breathing in, Breathe in and come up as high as you can. High, 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 Superman, turn to turn, 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 turn. Breathe, breathe, relax. Three more. Breathing in. Relax the jaw, the face, and up. Up, Michelle. Feet together. Up, up, up. Relax. Two more. Breathing in. And up. And now you're going to stay as long as you can because it's the last one. And if you came down too quick, you can stop. You can do it now. Bianca, a bit higher. Relax. Very good. Now you're going to roll over like a sausage and you're going to be facing up. You're going to take your chin, uh, legs towards your chest, like in hug, like this. You're going to open up your arms. And you're gonna let your legs fall to the right and your head is gonna look towards the left. And you're gonna take three, five, five deep breaths here, trying to very gently support your chest in open. Breathing in. Ah, breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's do three more. 
and let yourself sigh or burp or fart, whatever it is that you need to do, just to release tension through it, or everybody sound it off, but we won't hear. What we can hear is okay to fart. One more deep breath. And very gently, we start taking our, oh, sorry, our legs towards our chest. And very softly, with that, the legs fall to the left. Oh, and the head fall towards the right. Breathing in and breathing out. Two more breaths. And very gently, we're going to start bringing our leg towards our chest. And then we're going to open up our feet towards the ceiling and kind of baby pose. And you're going to try to hold your feet from the outside. Yeah. So, what you want to do, I'm going to put my butt against the camera. What you want to do is kind of roll to one side and then to the other. Ideally, your, your knees or your thighs are touching the floor. If, that, if it feels too tight, then just stay in the position without moving. Yeah, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And very gently there, we're gonna start trying to roll back and forth, back and forth until we're able to sit up. And if we are able to sit up, we're going to do one last exercise, which is we're going to hold both feet on the outside. We're going to open up our chest, look a little bit up, and start to stretch our legs there. Yeah. Try to point your feet without falling back. And if you fall back, you start again. That's it. Good, Bianca. So you want to, Bianca, if you can, try to point your feet. Point, point, okay, or not. And if you fall and roll back, that's part of the exercise, yeah? And if you feel comfortable here, you can try to kind of bring your legs towards your chest or you separate it and then you open them up and look up, 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 up and you're gonna fall maybe, like I did, that's good. Bianca, if you're there, then good, look up. Very good. Now, very gently, we're going to start. We're going to come back to our mats, lie down, facing up, hands next to the body, feet fall to the outside, and we're going to start our shavasana. If you're in a place that it's cold, you can you may want to look for a blanket or some socks. And we're just going to start breathing in, breathing out through the nose. Trying for now not to have any specific type of breath. Close in the eyes, relax in the jaw, relax in the forehead. And now just notice your breath. Try not to do any specific type of breath or to breathe in a specific way. Just be with your body now. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and gently just start connecting with your body. It feels tired, tense. And if your, your mind starts to be chatty, what am I going to do next? Blah, 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 all of these thoughts. Acknowledge them. They're there. But try to come back to your body and give yourself a little two or three minute break of your incessant mind. Breathing in and breathing out. So if thoughts come up, come, come up, don't judge them, but try not to engage on with them. Ah. <sighs> 
You need to sigh, yawn, fart, stretch, do whatever you need in order to support yourself and relax. Breathing in and breathing out through the nose. Very, very gently. We're going to check in with ourselves. Notice how we're feeling. Breathing in a little bit deeper. If there's any part of the body that still feels tense, try to bring your attention there. And try to breathe into that part of your body. Very, very softly, we're going to start breathing a little bit deeper, bringing ourselves back to this place, moment. Very softly, we're going to start moving our little fingers and toes as gently as possible. <sighs> Very softly, we're going to start moving our head from side to side. We're going to start rotating our wrists and our ankles very softly, noticing how quick the information travels around our body. So in the moment we're giving the instruction to our body to move in a certain way, it's already doing it. That's why it's sometimes nice to pause and just be gentle. So our bodies are working all of the time. Very gently, you're gonna bend your knees, bend your legs, sorry. You're gonna put your feet on the ground. You're gonna stretch your arms behind you like if you're stretching, waking up in the morning. 
and you're going to try to bring your spine into one straight line. So maybe sometimes that requires that we kind of raise our hips a little bit so we align our spine in one straight line. Feet on the floor. Touch it down your spine. And try to take this feeling of hard work and relaxation with you for the rest of the day. Very gently, we're going to bring our legs towards our chest. Hold the hog our legs. We're going to massage our spine from side to side. And then we're going to let ourselves fall onto one side in a fetal position. Ah. Letting our body completely relax there. If there's any remaining tension that we might feel, kind of just give it into the, into the earth. And let yourselves be held by the earth for the next three breaths. Breathing in. Oh, we let go. And with each outward breath, we let ourselves go and be held. Two deep more breaths, two more deep breaths. And then last one, breathing in. And breathing out. We check in how we're feeling. And very gently, we're going to start breathing and pushing ourselves up with the help of the hand that's not lying on the back. Very gently, we're going to sit up straight. We can take our hands towards our chest or put our hands on our knees. And if we want to, we could dedicate our practice to something, someone, something we're grateful for, something we want to ask help with. And if that just feels too not in your turf, then just take a couple of breaths with us. We're going to take one more deep breath together. And thank you for coming. I'm going to leave because there's another session coming up. If you're at home and need to rest, then just stay in silence and enjoy. Bye. Have a nice day.